Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about the error code 530035. Uh, if you're trying to sign into a Microsoft account and you're having issues, or if you have a team across the globe like we do, or if you're running an enterprise, you're probably going to run into this error and that tells me that you're probably our ideal customer as well. But we'll talk about that later and let's get you signed in and uh, you're probably looking for a solution to whitelist an IP address, and that's usually the issue as to why you're getting that error. So it says that you successfully logged in, but you are not able, or you don't have permission to access. And so that's usually a VPN or an IP issue. And basically Microsoft thinks that the person signing in is spam or, um, you know, is a security threat. So what we're gonna do is walk you through some of the issues that we had in this and then also uh, give you a couple of solutions that you need to try. We had to, a little trouble um, testing it and then if you do need further support, do look at some of our support packages or reach out to us at info at perfectclicks.com. We'll see you in the video. All right, so let's jump into it right here. Let's say you're getting this issue where you don't have access, right? Your sign-in was not successful, uh, was successful, but you don't have permission to access this resource. Now, a lot of uh, websites, and if you look this up on how to whitelist an IP address, there's a lot of different ways to do that, and you can basically do it um, through the admin center, or they have through uh, email and collaboration. And so sometimes you're not able to find that. So uh, here you can see in the admin center, you can go into your settings. You can try going into your users and adjusting the user. That's not gonna work either. And then you can go into setup and you can also go into security. Now, sometimes when you go into the security center, you're not going to see this email and collaboration tab, which is kind of what some people will need to solve this issue. So if you don't see this email and collaboration tab, the work around that is to go directly to the link. And that link, which we can link below for you guys, is right here. This is your security.microsoft.com slash alert policies, or um, it should be slash anti-spam. And had I not found that link specifically, uh, a lot of people can't even get into, into the threat anti-spam policies. Now, um, this will enable you to add an, a whitelist IP through the connection filter policy. And that's what a lot of people are listing as the solution. The only problem with the connection filter policy is it may not solve that 530035 error code, but it is a, something to look at. Um, and so you can add an IP list here as well. So after you do that, uh, and you do have access to that email and collaboration, the next thing you wanna do is actually go into uh, Microsoft Azure, pick the user that you're working with, and you can either click on re-require a registration multi-factor authentication or you can put add a new authentication method. In our case, by adding a new authentication method, um, we had to add an additional uh, multi-factor authentication and that solved the problem. So uh, just make sure you have multi-factor authentication enabled, go through Azure, and this probably is the best and quickest solution, but you also may have other anti-spam policies and you will need that specific link as well. So um, again, we're not liable for any changes that you might do on your system. Make sure that you, you know, you have a professional handling it. Or if you do need any other help, just let us know as well. So that's it, guys. If this video was helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Perfect Click specializes in web development, digital marketing, SEO, uh, social media, and custom software. So if you are running an organization uh, and this video helped you, why not reach out to us? Uh, it's 844 clicks or you can reach out to us at info at perfectclicks.com. Let us show us what you can do and help you grow your business as well.